Japan is a nation known for its tradition, beauty and social etiquette. Which makes this curry chow down all the more wacky. That's right, people. It's time to ditch the table manners and go gobbling for gold. It's the Nagasaki Speed Eating Contest. I don't even think your appetite is going to be good enough for this competition. We're taking on Nagasaki's best speed eaters. Yeah, it's not going to be a problem, Ambo. I was built for this sport. Let me just say that. Oh, please. I'm hungrier than ever to win this competition. Yeah, enough talk. Show me the curry! It's time for the Nagasaki Speed Eating Championships! Woo! <laughs> at our event will be chowing down on delicious curry in the heats, followed by a soup in the finals. The menu is fairly standard, but the contest is definitely not. Could this be one of the world's wackiest? We'll rate it for grossness, originality, <laughs>, laughs and difficulty. If the event scores over 20 points, it will win the ultimate accolade, a golden party Marty and a chance to be named the Wacky World Beater. Under 20 points, it's school's mould. Now, where were we? We're in Japan for an eating competition, and there couldn't be a more perfect training ground than this. Japan's famous sumo wrestlers are man mountains who use their massive bodies to force each other out of the ring. Yes! And to help them do it, they consume 20,000 calories daily. That's eight times the recommended amount. And not only that, they eat the whole lot in two massive meals. I've luckily been invited to join with some trainees for a mega meal. And with the dinner secrets of a sumo on side, I can't fail at the speed eating contest. The only problem is, before we eat, I've got to prove myself in the ring. What have I got myself in? I'll be honest, I do look good though, right? Yeah? I am loving the loins, or mawashi, and the weightlifting warm-up's easy. Sort of. I'm a born sir. Before I get in the ring with a real sumo, I need proper training. Luckily, champion Koshi has agreed to take me under his wing. Wait. <laughs> oh, that's the champion at work. Intimidation factor high. Koshi has me training a traditional sumo stretch called a matawari. <laughs> and quite frankly, it's a relief to escape to the ring. I'm terrified, but this sumo stands between me and my speed-eating ambition, so I have everything to play for. Just got none of the skills. I need some kind of special move. Go! And being back at sumo school gives me an idea. He did not see it coming. My wedgie move is OK in sumo rules. Oh. So I've graduated to the dinner table uh. to sample their special stew or chunko. I've been watching the sumo boys and they drink it first and then they eat it. That's how they get it down a bit quicker. Something to remember. It's a strictly silent eating regime as the sumos chow down on this protein-rich meal designed to help them gain weight. According to the sumos, it's just all about having a huge appetite so you can eat as much as you can, and there is no shortage of appetites here. But nice as the meal is, I reckon I've learned more about speed eating in the ring than around the table. But here's the thing I've taken away from this. It's all about intimidation when you're competing, OK? Because these guys intimidated me from the moment I walked into that ring, and so tomorrow at the contest, that's what I'm going to do, intimidate early. Here's what I've also learned. You wear a mawashi for the first time, you will get chafing. No doubt about it. It's going to happen. In Japan, speed eating is a big sport, so for my training, my strategy is to meet up with the champion. And she is a one-man girl power. Let's go meet her. Hatomi! Oh. You are nothing what I expected. You're so tiny. So run me through some of your speed eating records. No way. You can do 100 gyoza in 10 minutes. Oh. Just like swallowing them whole. <laughs> you even chewing those? Swallowing food whole gives you indigestion and can make you choke. So I've asked Hitomi to teach me how to speed eat safely. <laughs> They're just like disappearing in a void. She's ordered a two kilo curry at her favourite cafe so she can show me some different techniques. <laughs> Are you chewing? <laughs> Hitomi's vacuum cleaner approach is very impressive. Yummy. 
Her personal records include 10 hamburgers in under four minutes and 14 bowls of noodles in 15. She must be banned from breakfast buffets all over town. Doesn't even want to take shortcuts. Just over three minutes in, and Tomi's already wiping her plate clean. You can do it! You only got one minute! That's it! Oh. Oh. Are you full? No. I'm hungry. No! <laughs> I want to learn everything there is to know. Can you give me any tips for beginners? OK, I'm relieved to hear Hitomi suggests I start with quick, small mouthfuls and plenty of water to wash it down. Sumimasen! You know my order. Oh, yeah, I'm about to find out if I've got what it takes in the chow down department. I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's start. I'm starting. Woo! Oh, water, water. Mm. Ooh. I'm so inspired by Hitomi's girl power on a plate that I'm determined to give this my best shot. <laughs> I can't believe it! The quick spoonfuls and water is working! Oh, but not everyone has hollow legs like Hitomi, and after a few too many small mouthfuls, I've had a belly full. Come on! Come on! Come on. You can do it! Come on. Come on. But then from nowhere, the entire restaurant gets behind me. It's a stadium level support, and I'm not even wearing my mascot suit. I did it! I can't believe it! Almost two kilos of curry in under five minutes. Okay. Not not okay. Okay. The only problem is I feel so sick right now, and tomorrow I've got the heat and the final. How do I recover in between? Because Hitomi's sending me back to my room under strict instructions to sweat it out lying down. I'm gonna need a stretcher! <laughs> the training with Hitomi went really well, but now I just feel really sick. Like, I can't even look at a bowl of curry and I don't know how I'm even gonna eat a mouthful. I just don't know how I'm gonna get through tomorrow. I'll tell you what, I am pretty sore from the sumos and pretty full as well. But what I need to do now is practice my intimidation, so I'm just gonna roll it here looking at myself, all right? This is the competition tomorrow. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna eat everything out. I'm gonna eat you out there. I'm gonna eat you alive, metaphorically. Obviously, I'm gonna eat you. Oh, yeah, guess what? I hope you got napkins, because it's getting messy out there. Yeah. It's game day at last, and even the rain can't dampen the spirits of the local community here at the Hasami Festival Nagasaki. The festival has been running for decades and celebrates traditional Nagasaki culture, the region's love of food, and Japan's obsession with eating it quickly. We'll be racing in each of the two opening heats to finish a bowl of curry and rice. Oh, don't talk about food. I still feel full after yesterday. Yeah, and if we're one of the four fastest qualifiers, we'll take an hour's recovery and then we'll go into the final for a bowl of Japanese Odin soup. Oh, seriously, stop talking about food. As well as doing our best to finish first, we're also racing each other in our own little contest to see which of us is the curry king. Oh, queen. Curry's getting made right now, it smells terrific. These are all the competitors, and I've got to oh, boss them like the sumos there, boss me, because I got tossed around the mat. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get out there in that first minute, I'm going to smash it in my face, get as much rice down as possible, blow these guys away, button off, and then relax for the final. Save a little bit of space there to take home the title. Let's go. <laughs> oh, thank you. Two there, two there. OK. <laughs> it's all happening. You know, I'm not going to lie. I'm not feeling the best. I think I went too hard too fast yesterday in training with the Tommy, so... I'm just going to try and pull together and just make it through to the finals and then who knows what can happen. That free water seems to be going down OK, but Ambo's sticking to the bad tummy excuses tactic. Well, Gilly's going for the big mouth intimidation approach, but what do the stats say? Name, Amberly, a.k.a. the Nibbler. Strengths, special curry training. Weaknesses, still recovering from the training. Probability of winning? 38%. And in the opposite corner, name, Gilly, a.k.a. Big Mouth. Strengths, sumo intimidation tactics. Weaknesses, talks with mouthful. Probability of winning, 77%. It's time to dine.
It's heat one and Gilly the big mouth is up first. He's facing stiff competition today from the guy in the green jacket, defending champion Masahito. Yeah, but he doesn't know about my sumo training. Let the intimidation begin. You don't know what's coming. You don't know what's coming. I've got a hunger. I've got a serious hunger. Look, I haven't eaten for weeks. You got nothing. You got nothing. Clearly, Gilly hasn't realised intimidation only works if your competitors speak the same language. Too late. Sumo power! They're up. Big Mouth shoveling the curry like he's part man, part garbage disposal unit. He's going down! And there he goes again with his signature trademark move, talking with his mouth full. Masahito better watch his back. Big Mouth taking it up a gear. Look at the confidence in that move, helping out a teammate. But could it cost Big Mouth the heat? And yes, Masahito's mouth is open and the ball is down. Big Mouth takes out second. And he's through to the final. Just. I thought I intimidated them well there. I got off to a really good solid start. Man in the green jacket beat me, but he's scared of me. He knows I mean business. And it's Amberly's heat next. I'm just standing really still like a Tommy said and I'm rubbing my tummy. Look, I'm putting on my happy face like a mascot, but inside my stomach is still reeling from yesterday. It's all about scraping through. I'm, I'm not worried about finishing first. I'm just gonna get through this. Okay. Yes. And here we go. She's off. The nipple has launched herself into the heat and is looking like an absolute professional. Look at that lips, tongue, teeth all in unison as she gets the food down. She's been complaining about sickness all day, but look at that spoon move like a fork. No, no, no! And oh, could it be the fake sickness moves that Nibbler learned at mascot school? She's pulled them all over my eyes. I've got itchy eyes! I cannot believe it! The Nibbler has won her heat! Oh, oh no way! I actually won! Are you serious? <laughs> the other competitors are not even close to finishing. They're on entree. She's done dessert. <laughs> Seconds away from the final now. Power of the sumo got me through. I'm stoked with it. Just found out, though. Didn't get the hour recovery. Got ten minutes. Blessing in disguise. I get to trick the gut. Don't know that I'm full yet, so I'm going to power straight through. Get back out there. Take down Greeny. I'm going to suck down all the soup first. Noodles later. They won't see it coming. Come on. It's finals time. Our friend Masahito is the favourite to win. But I'm determined my sumo intimidation tactics will win out this time. The question is, what tactics will Ambo use now her sickness ruse has run its course? And we're off! Your sumo intimidation doesn't faze me, Big Mouth. I was feeling ill, but it doesn't matter anymore. This is my real strategy. Mini motor mouthfuls washed down with water, just like a Tommy Tommy. I tell you what, the nibbler, she's well drilled. I thought it would be between Masahito and me for the title, but she's looking more like a pro than ever before. But I'm no match for Masahito. He's just inhaled his broth for the win. <laughs> but there's still everything to play for in our little contest, and I'm more determined than ever to beat Big Mouth. Oh, just one rogue needle between me and second place. Oh! Oh, I can't believe it! Ambo has cleared her bowl. The crowd stuck. Whatever. Gilly is genuinely dumbstruck. I've still powered my way to second place, all thanks to a Tommy. If the boys at the sumo club found out about this, I'll never be welcome back. What a win for me. But how did Masahito do it? Hey, not chewing. No chewing. Not chewing. You just swallowed it. Hey, wink, not chewing. Oh. Ooh. Mate, you just pulled all over my eyes. The whole car right here. Oh, I'm feeling so sick. I was. I can't eat. I'm gonna have to pull out of the competition. I was, Bang! Then you just inhale the I was actually dish. trying to find a way to pull out because I was so sick. It's a wackier than ever result as Ambo's motor mouthfuls prove too much for my sumo style soup suction. But how does this contest rate in terms of its overall wackiness? It's time for gold or mold. For grossness, I'm pretty used to seeing you eat like that, Gilly. It's a five. For originality, it's really just eating like you're ridiculously hungry. It's a one. For laughs, Gilly's failed intimidation tactics were pretty hilarious. It's a four. For difficulty, it actually wasn't that hard. That's why I'm so gutted I lost to Ambo. It's a four. It's mold! That's right, the Nagasaki Speed Eating Contest joins our exclusive Moldy Cheese Club. All right, Gilly, it's lap at a feet time, and we all know who the speed eating champion is. It's time for a little curry facial. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 
his way to keep him. All right. Not keen. I'm not happy. OK, let's get the face in well. Come on. Just put it in there. Come on, put it in there. <laughs> <laughs>